Hi, this is Ranbir Kapoor. This is Imtiaz Ali. And together, we are watching. You are watching us, us on Bollywood Hangar. Very good. Okay, and I think Piyush Mishra, I think, uh, hmm. plays a the very storyteller. interesting character. Yes. Uh, and I think you've always had some some really interesting. Rockstar was was an amazing character. Was a hugely entertaining character. Uh, so, so something about uh, uh, Piyush Mishra, and I think you're, you're damn good with your casting. Mukesh Chhabra has done the casting. Mukesh Chhabra has done yeah. the casting, and I think all the casting is a very very important thing in film. Yeah. And it's only recently that me and many filmmakers in India have actually begun to recognize its effect. And Mukesh Chhabra has been a very very important factor in the films that I've done because he's cast most of them from Love Ajkal onwards. So Piyush Mishra. So Piyush and uh, I've actually been a flunky in the theatre group that he was the god of, called Act One, at at that point of time. And Piyush and I have always been in touch with each other. And uh, Ranbir and Piyush also share a very very good actor actors relationship because they worked in Rockstar together and they again bonded like how actors do. And for a person, let me tell you, it seems as though he compliments you all the time. But Piyush Mishra, it comes from a stock of very, very snooty actors from the Delhi, you know, uh, Delhi uh, theatre circuit, where they feel that everyone else is shit except for them, because he really admires you as an actor. Yeah, and it is very people. Arshad Varsi has said that I love uh, Ranbir's work, and I, no advice I would want to give him. He is doing excellently. Yeah, so a lot of people. Okay. As an actor, you score very highly, sir. You kind of don't even. The next time we meet Pooch Mishra, you should ask him to tell you his uh, story, his poetry, or song that he's made on method acting. Yeah. <laughs> it so is in fact, we, we've done an interview with Pooch Mishra, and surprisingly, he's got a, like a very good response. Yeah. But ask him and to do the method acting. He's amazing to talk to. We'll meet him next. He's an extremely, extremely entertaining person, and he's, I think, an institution himself. And he's a storyteller. See, I wanted him to play storyteller. Yeah. Like th this is a guy who you find in Shimla somewhere. Uh, and he's the kind of guy that you give him some money and he tells you a story. That's what he does in the film. It's such a weird character. So, because he's been a storyteller on stage, many of the plays that he's done in his life are uh, playing Sutradhar. So, he's like often with music telling a story to the audience, which is what he does in a way in this film. In, in the promo and even even in the in, in the making videos that, that I just saw, uh, somewhere uh, your entire comfort level with Deepika is I think is excellent. Somewhere it's very friendly. Somewhere you can make out, uh, considering that you guys have ha shared a certain past as well. Uh, but it's it's very entertaining. It's very funny as well. Uh, that portion when uh, uh, I'm Don who or Barak Mulkon ki police mere piche and then she says that I'm Mona darling hoon. and the way you say Mona ki darling, I think that has a, a really unique moment to it. Uh, now, how was how was how important do you feel? Uh, was it that you guys uh, really gel like a like a, a wonderful couple somewhere? Because the intensity that you see at the end of the promo is is like something that people just swear by in terms of like love story. See, I don't know if it's an advantage or a disadvantage that we have the baggage of our relationship in the past. Uh, maybe that also has a little bit of a, a we have an advantage now that you know people uh, people somehow also like our pairing. They like the fact that we've done Ye Jawani Hai Diwani as our last film, which was a big success. Uh, and I feel an actor's chemistry between two actors is always denoted by the last film they do and how good the characters have been in, in the last film. Um, if I uh, if I worked with a certain actor who um, probably I'm, I'm married to and if the last film was not or, or the film that we did was not a good film you'd probably think that they have no chemistry so chemistry is something which is not explainable but having said that I think Deepika and me both are professionals we both are hard working we both are, are really want to do well for ourselves we want to do well for the movie we both have immense love and respect for Imtiaz so we all were on you know we all were very much uh, wanting to do our best uh, what what you see in the promos or the result of it is not something that is predictable for us while we are working uh, we are just doing our jobs uh, but if people like us it's of course it's am i going on a different direction no no not okay. right. yeah, you're, you're right. yeah if, if people like us it is because the characters the movies have chemistry have the chemistry need to have chemistry first i think you know there are two actors playing a part where there's no that kind of a relationship or a chemistry between the characters like for example if Deepika and me had done say a film of mine let's say Besharam and if that film didn't do well people would probably not talk about our chemistry because the characters didn't work there the, the dynamic didn't work there 
the fact that we did a film where the dynamic worked it was a predominantly a love story i guess that's why people start liking right your your chemistry See, with someone